Welcome to another webinar of Interact. Uh, our today's topic is, uh, topic is top tips for festive season campaigns. Uh, my name is Rupak Sarvekar. I'll be your host today uh, for the webinar. Uh, as usual, this is a 45 minute session. First 30 minutes will be, we will talk about festive season campaigns, best practices, tips and tricks. And last 15 minutes will reserve for Q&A. Uh, I will request everyone uh, to please post your questions in the Q&A section. Do not post your questions in the chat section. Post it in the Q&A section. Uh, we'll try to answer your uh, questions uh, uh, simultaneously. And uh, uh, at the end of the day, we will cover uh, other questions also. Uh, at the end of the session, we'll be launching a poll. Uh, I would request you to spare a couple of minutes uh, and share your valuable feedback. Your feedback really matters and uh, it helps us to improve our webinar structure uh, the type the, the the kind the types of uh, topics we pick so uh, it will help us improve our uh, webinars and uh, the format <coughs> all right so let's just start i will uh, stop my video now and uh, we'll <coughs> All right. So as we discussed, our uh, today's topic is uh, best practices for festive season campaigns. Uh, in the last webinar, we discussed how to manage festive season rush using automation on Interact. And uh, in today's webinar, we will discuss how you can use the notification campaign feature to reach out to larger audience using your Interact account and get the maximum uh, sales out of this festive season right uh, so first we'll just go through the basics and then we will go to the interact account and we will actually see how to create a template how to launch a notification and how to uh, you know uh, make uh, you know changes uh, in your usual campaigns which you do right uh, according to festive season right so there are some uh, uh, additional features I'm going to show you. There are some, uh, you know, few tips and tricks I'm going to show you, right? Uh, so yeah, first basics, right? Uh, using WhatsApp notification campaign feature, right? On Interact, you can reach out to thousands of opt in customers in just one click. Uh, you can create beautiful templates with rich media. You can include image or video or document in the header. Uh, you can add interactive elements like a CTA button, quick reply button to engage with customers, right? So these are these are not just normal plain text messages. Uh, these are, uh, you know, uh, highly structured messages, right? Where there are four components in the template, your header, body, footer, and uh, interactive elements, okay? You can also include variables to personalize the message for better customer experiences. Uh, you know, uh, we will also talk about best practices to follow while creating these templates and tips and tricks. Uh, we will also take a look how to create one-time campaigns on Interact and send messages to customers in bulk. Uh, we'll also, you know, uh, discuss how to monitor the campaign performance, uh, like how many number of messages you have been you know, you've sent how many have been delivered, how many have been read, replied to, failed, etc. Uh, understanding quality rating, account status, and messaging limit, and troubleshooting failed messages, right? So these are some of the things we'll uh, cover. Uh, so before we actually uh, see the actual demo, um, so let's just, you know, quickly take a look at tips and tricks uh, to get the templates approved, right? Uh, uh, you know, when, when you create a template, uh, it goes for an approval to WhatsApp. When WhatsApp approves a template, then only you can use uh, these templates. And templates are usually uh, used when you want to communicate with customers in bulk, right? When you want to launch a notification campaign, uh, that is when you need a template, right? Uh, so of course, so some basic things like templates should be formatted correctly. There shouldn't be any misspellings or grammatical errors or you know uh, some uh, punctuation marks which are not needed or incorrect punctuation marks. Uh, try to try to have at least one variable parameter uh, in the in the message. It makes it makes the template uh, personalized, message personalized, uh, and improves your chances of getting the template approved. Uh, avoid sending open-ended welcome or introductory message. Right, your your template should be very specific. It should have a clear call to action. Right. Uh, do not use short URL. Right. Uh, 
so most of the time you might want to you know add a utm parameter uh, in the in the link or some other additional urls which are too long right so you might think of shortening them using bitly or other platforms but uh, you know if you use a short url in the template your template will get rejected so you should always use full urls uh, always provide sample while submitting the template uh, make sure there are no tabs or extra spaces when you write your content in the template. So these are few things which you just need to keep in mind. Uh, these are like mandatory uh, tips. Uh, you need to you know ensure that you follow this when you create a template. Then there are some optional uh, suggestions, right? Uh, you if you follow this, yeah, it will again improve your chances of getting the template approved. Right. Uh, so there should be a clear call to action in the message. Right. Uh, you should at least add an interactive uh, button like a CTA button or a quick reply button. Right. And it should have a clear call to action. Right. What is the purpose of this message? Right. Whether you want customers to shop from your website, you want them to subscribe, you want them to, uh, you know, uh, register for something, you want them to download something. So it should have a clear call to action. Uh, it's a good practice to include URL in the CTA button, right? Uh, do not include the URL in the body. Include it in the CTA button. Uh, if you include the URL in the body, of course, it, it doesn't look nice. I mean, it, it's it, it, the message won't be attractive, number one. Number two, uh, uh, the link will not be clickable unless the customer replies to your message, right? Uh, if you add the link in the body. So hence, uh, it's always a good practice to include the URL in the CTA button. Uh, do not use consecutive punctuation marks like multiple question marks, multiple exclamation marks, multiple dots. Right? We sometimes we have the habit of you know adding multiple uh, you know characters if you want to show an urgency or some excitement. Right? So such templates will get uh, rejected. Uh, it's a good practice to include recipient's name in the template. Right? It makes the message uh, highly personalized. So hence always. Uh, you know, add a variable uh, for the name. Like that's the that's the least mandatory. I mean, this is the least you can do, right? Uh, you know, as we spoke, you should at least add one variable. So you should, you know, the one variable for customer's name uh, should always be there in your template. Uh, always include the name of your business in the template. Again, this is this is again highly recommended uh, because you know uh, most of your customers they might have not saved your number, and if your number doesn't have green tick, right? They might not recognize the brand with uh, from whom they have received the message, right? So hence, in the template, you should always add something like regards at the end and add the brand name of, uh, you know, your business. So it's it's always a good practice, highly recommended. Uh, and also always start your message with some some sentence which provide context to the recipient, right? Uh, uh, something like they, they if they have purchased with you in the past right so something like thank you for your previous purchase or thank you for being a valued member right so it, it gives it gives them uh, some context and they uh, it, it helps them to recall your brand or recall their interaction with your brand in the past <clears throat> such templates will give you better quality rating better open rate read rate all right then uh, so on interact you have two types of you can send two types of campaigns uh, one time campaign and ongoing campaigns right one time campaigns these are like simply in simple terms these are like broadcast right you select a audience uh, using a particular field filter and send the campaign in bulk to all those customers right and the examples of filters can be tags uh, created on date, country code, WhatsApp opted status, and other custom attributes like city, company, gender, whatever user traits you have added. Uh, ongoing campaigns, these are ongoing campaigns which are triggered for a specific event. Uh, so events are something like actions, right? Which customers take on your website, order place, sign up completed, form submitted, like that. And events need to be passed from your system to interact using APIs. We'll not talk much about ongoing campaigns in detail in today's webinar. Because our today's topic is uh, focused towards festive season campaigns, so we'll talk more about one-time campaigns. All right. So understanding quality rating, account status, and messaging limit. Right. So this is going to be very important uh, since you will be sending campaigns in bulk during the festive season. Uh, I, I assume most of you must be sending the campaigns in bulk, right? So you should always monitor this. Uh, 
uh, I, there's, there's one simple tip I, I'm going to share. Uh, so let me first tell you about the quality rating and account status. So yeah, what is quality rating, right? Uh, quality rating is based on how messages have been received by your recipients, right? Over the past uh, seven days, right? So let's say when you launch a campaign, uh, 2000 customers or 10,000 customers, and out of which uh, majority customers block your number or report your number as spam, right? Uh, then they will, uh, you know, uh, your quality rating will go down. It will be quality rating will, you know, uh, update to low, right? Uh, if let's say out of out of those thousand customers or ten thousand customers, very few people, my you know, uh, not a majority people, uh, they block or report your number. Then yeah, your quality rating will not be low; it will be medium or high. Uh, so based on your quality rating, your account status will be defined, right? Uh, so your if your account status is healthy, so on Interact you will see it as healthy. On Facebook Business Manager you will see it as connected, right? So if it's healthy. Uh, it means the quality rating of your templates is high. Uh, if it's at risk, it means uh, the quality rating is low. Uh, so when your account status is at risk, uh, during that phase, you cannot upgrade your messaging limit. So upgrade, uh, messaging limit is something we will discuss in the later slide. So during that period, right, you cannot upgrade your messaging limit. And if you continue to send message and if the quality rating again further you know uh, drops down then there are chances that your messaging limit will be reduced also right uh, so when your account is at risk you should be careful uh, whatsapp will observe your activity for the next seven days and in the in those next seven days if the quality rating is high then your account status will go back to healthy uh, and messaging limit right so messaging limit so Messaging limit. So, if whenever you start a new WhatsApp business API account, right, uh, you will always start with tier one. Tier one is thousand business initiated conversations in a rolling twenty four hour period. In simple terms, uh, messages sent to thousand unique customers in a rolling twenty four hour period, right? Tier two is ten thousand customers. Tier three is one lakh customers. Tier four is unlimited customers. And how do we increase this messaging limit to upgrade from tier one to tier two? You need to send messages to 2,000 unique customers in a seven days period. To upgrade from tier two to tier three, you need to send messages to 20,000 unique customers in a seven days period. And to upgrade from tier three to tier four, you need to send messages to two lakh unique customers in a seven days period. So if you see, right, it's double your limit, existing limit. Uh, but during this process, right, your account status should be healthy. Uh, quality rating should be high then only your messaging limit will be increased. Otherwise, as discussed in the previous slide, uh, if the quality rating is further drop, your there are chances that your you will be placed in a lower messaging limit, right? So it, it can happen that your messaging limit uh, downgrades from tier three to tier two or tier two to tier one, right? Uh, now, uh, how do we ensure that our quality rating is high, account status is healthy, right? So. Uh, there are a couple of things you just need to keep in mind. Uh, so first thing, uh, what you need to do first and foremost, right? I mean, very simple rule, a thumb rule. You should always send messages, notification campaigns to your customers, okay? Or the customers who have transacted with you in the past or shown interest in the past, right? So uh, never send a bulk campaign to the customers which are unknown right do not purchase a database from any third party uh, or any other sources right uh, do not upload such database in your interact account and send a campaign uh, there are high chances if you do that those customers because they don't know your brand they will block your number or they will report your number as spam right number one number two now even if you have uh, you know let's say you have your own customers these these are the customers who have transacted with you in the past or have shown interest right so even when you launch uh, campaigns to such customers uh, you should also follow one uh, you know one one simple uh, trick what you can do whenever you plan to launch a new campaign let's say you want to create a new campaign for diwali so first you should you know only send it to a small segment which is your loyal audience okay 
and just observe the quality rating for that particular template. If the quality rating is high, then you can, you know, send that campaign to rest of the audience, right? So this is how you should, you know, plan your campaigns. Uh, so I'll, uh, I, while showing the demo, I'll show you exactly how to do this. So let's see how to create templates and campaigns on Interact. So I've just switched to the Interact account. So this is our demo account. So, uh, so ahead of this festive season, we have brought a new feature for all of you. Uh, all of you must have already seen this. All of you must have already used this particular features, right? So in the template section, uh, we have introduced something called as template library. Uh, so in this template library, you will get predefined templates based on the particular use case. Uh, so we have uh, divided it uh, industry-wise for travel, for services, education, others, etc. Right, uh, and these are like for special occasions. Uh, so, if you scroll down, you will see, you know, templates for it, uh, the upcoming occasions. Right, these are the. There are high chances that if you use this template, uh, these templates uh, will get approved because we have already, you know, verified this template and these templates have approved, have been approved. Uh, right, so. Uh, what you just need to do just click on that particular template use template uh you can just use your own image over here right so i'll just replace this image so i'll click on remove image choose jpeg and then i'll just add a new image over here in this template so i've added my own image in the body i'll just make changes according to my offer or whatever offer I want to share. So, hey, then variable, right? So this is a variable which will be mapped with customer's name. Eliminate your Diwali with these amazing discount deals. Uh, this Diwali get up to 60% on. So there's a variable. So instead of variable, if I want to, you know, make it. So let's say I want to uh, change the offer, get up to 25% off on our entire collection get the brands you love at never before seen prices and then regards or whatever with love from team interact or your brand name uh it's always again a, a, a good practice if you want to add emojis in your template, uh, because WhatsApp is 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 a very you know conversational platform. It's uh, it's not like an email, right? Uh, and it's 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 informal. So uh, you know emojis look nice and they look appealing. They look attractive. Uh, so if you add emojis, you you should not you know overdo it. Uh, just add some relevant images. Uh, you know at relevant places. So let's say for example, I'll just add a add a emoji for let's say dia so eliminate your diwali with these amazing discount deals so over here in deals or i'll add over here never seen before prices so, so something like this So instead of with love over here, right? So something like this. So it just make the message look attractive and little informal and conversational, engaging. So I've added emojis. <clears throat> Mm 
all right let's say i want to make this bold and let's say i want to include a coupon code use code diwali during checkout to get additional 10% off so i've made diwali as bold now um so another thing so what you can do right in the interactive elements you can add button a call to action button and you can take your customers to the website but instead of doing that right uh uh let's do something different uh right uh in this festive season instead of directly taking your customers on the website make your message conversational right make it interactive uh where customers will engage uh with your brand right and they'll it, it doesn't just it will not just be like you know you just send the message and uh, shared the link and uh, you know now you just expect your customers to go to the website and make a purchase make it interactive make it conversational how right so over here what you can do uh instead of call to action add quick replies okay and in the in the footer you can add a text so here it you can either add a tagline or some fine tnc or uh, you can provide an option to your customers to opt out if they don't want to receive messages from you give them an option to opt out right so we will add something like this press stop if you do not want to receive messages from us right add a button like this and over here in the quick reply button add these two things so i'll add one button called get offer and another option stop right uh so how this will help right if i get these two buttons uh and if if, if i know right as a customer i'll see if i press on stop i'll be opted out and i'll never get to you know uh, reveal the offer but if i click on get offer uh, i'll at least you know check out what's the offer right so from over here in this message i'll just remove this particular line from the template let's not reveal the code right now right and so instead of get offer get coupon so this looks like a you know personalized message exclusive message right uh, that this this particular offer is only for me exclusively for me right it gives a sense uh, it gives that feeling to the customers i'll click on add sample over here if you see right so uh, since this is our sample template which we used from template library sample is already added for the name so i don't need to add it again and then submit i'll just remove it and add it again all right so we have created this template as soon as we submit the template it goes for an approval in the languages column you will see uh, there there will be a circle if it's in red color it means the template is rejected if it's in yellow color it means the template is in waiting stage and if it's green it means the template is approved 
right? So as soon as the template is approved, you should you just need to wait for about five minutes before you use this template. Otherwise, you know it, uh, the campaign will fail. Uh, you know, you know it takes five to ten minutes to sync the template completely. Uh, but now we'll just proceed with the next step. Now I click on notifications. I'll click on new campaign. Start from scratch. Diwali offer. So choose your audience. I'll just select my so one customer I've selected. Choose template. Diwali offer. So when we submitted the template, we added a sample. So it, it's not uploaded properly. So we'll just remove it and upload it again. Now over here, what we will do, we added two buttons, interactive buttons, get coupon and stop. So what we will do, we, we will just map it with a particular action, right? So when customer clicks on stop, we will configure the opt-out flow. So something like this. So when I press on stop, the WhatsApp update status for that particular customer will be, will change to no, that is false, okay? So here you also have to remember one thing, when you add your audience, you should always add one more filter called WhatsApp update is true. So you should also add this particular filter so that you will always send campaigns to the customers who have opted in to receive messages from you, right? So when they press stop next time, uh, their WhatsApp set opted status will change to no, that is false. And then though they will be excluded from the list. So set up the opt out flow and then here in get coupon, We will add a catalog. So our product collection list is not showing. Anyway, so uh, it looks like uh, the collection is, uh, the catalog is uh, disabled. So we will add a normal custom reply over here. So on button click, just choose get coupon and over here, use code Diwali. During checkout to get additional 10% off, visit www.impact.shop. shop now and save and then schedule your message and send and set live if you see you will see this warning right as, as i mentioned that uh, when you create a template you need to wait for you know uh, some time so but anyways, we'll just go ahead and launch this template, uh, launch this campaign. As soon as we launch the campaign, right? So just click on the campaign name. And over here, you will see the campaign analytics. How many have been attempted? How many have been sent, delivered, read, replied, it's failed, etc. We'll just click on the refresh button. It will take some time to update. So this is how you can launch the campaign. Uh, we just saw uh, how you know different you can uh, you know uh, do in this festive season campaign, right? So instead of our regular call to action templates where you just add a website and expect your customers to go to your website and shop, make the message more interactive, uh, more conversational, right? Uh, in, so that 
it, it they feel engaging they feel exclusive they feel uh, special uh, you know uh, experience <coughs> all right so we'll just move on to the next thing so we saw how to create a template and then how to launch a campaign on interact so before that i will again show you uh, before we move ahead to the next section so i also want to show you another new feature which you can give me So when you go to the user section, uh, you will see there, there are some segments automatically created uh, for Shopify customers. There are, these are the segments for non-Shopify customers. There will be, uh, some of the segments will be available and some, there will be some different segments, right? You can also configure these segments on Interact. So repeat bias, right? So here you can just update it, two orders or three orders and update it, right? High spenders or loyal, right? Then there are other segments for non-Shopify clients like at risk or, you know, those who haven't, uh, uh, you know, interacted with you in the, in the last 30 days, something like that, right? So uh, you can just, you know, use this pre-built se segments or you can also create your own segments, right? Uh, so something like what you can do, uh, you can just, you know, when you up, ex, uh, upload the data, right? When you upload a sheet, so you can just, you know, tag them with some, you know, interesting tag. So as, as I told you, right, in when we were discussing about quality rating and messaging limit uh, and account status, so this is how you can, you know, first test a particular template, test a new template with small set of audience. Uh, if the quality rating is high, or if you don't see any, uh, your account status getting updated to address, then you can la launch it to larger audience. So this is how you can create segments and tags on Interact and use them. <clears throat> All right, so let's move on. All right. So. Um, yeah, so before we move to the Q&A se uh, session, um, I would request everyone, you know, if you could, you know, please leave us a review uh, on G2. Uh, Interact got listed on G2 in Feb 2022. It's a peer-to-peer -peer software review platform, uh, right? So fellow uh, marketers like you or, uh, uh, you know, uh, developers like you, they, they go to G2 and they compare softwares and read out, check out reviews when they, you know, uh, decide to purchase any particular software, right? So you, and of course, uh, I'm sure you all know the, you know, importance of reviews, how review platforms play a crucial role in building brand credibility, credibility and, uh, you know, uh, awareness. So I would request everyone, if you could just, you know, uh, go to GView, search for Interact, or I will just share this link with you all in the uh, chat section. Uh, so we would be super grateful. All right, so let's move on to the Q&A section. So there are some questions uh, uh, which have uh, already been answered, but for, for the audience, I'll just read out and uh, uh, I will just explain some of the questions. How much average time it takes to get the template approved? Uh, so it takes about a couple of seconds uh, if it passes through their automated check. 
uh, sometimes if it goes to manual review it can take up to 24 hours or couple of hours for the template to get approved uh, as we saw we created a template and it got an approved within one second Yeah, so we have an interesting question um, in button option. Can we use both the options for the same template wherein one call to action button and one quick reply button? Uh, unfortunately, no, that is not possible. Uh, you can either add a call to action button uh, and add a website URL or add quick reply. When you add call to action, you can have two different call to actions. One is website link and one is phone number. So these two are possible, but CT and quick reply combination is not possible. We have some new questions. I will take those. I want to learn how to create campaigns and templates. So we just saw this, uh, right? We will also be sharing the webinar recording link uh, with all of you. You can just refer this webinar or you can also go to our resource center. I'll just open my, I'll just uh, go to the website. So on our website, you can just go to our resource center. We have a resource center with for all the features and modules you can just go to any section and so let's say you go to whatsapp business notification section you will find articles and videos for each and every feature and modules step-by-step -step instructions with screenshots so everything is explained in detail you can refer to this and you know you will uh, be able to just quickly learn if you have any other doubts or questions, you can just reach out to us and send an email to support at the .ai and we will help you in resolving your queries. Uh, we have also launched a poll. Uh, I would request if you could, you know, spare a uh, few seconds to, uh, you know, share your feedback. Your feedback will really help us, you know, in uh, improving our webinar structure and style. All right, so I'll go to the next question. If I added two filters, then only one filter is applicable, but second one isn't, right? So uh, when you add a filter, I'll just again go back to the interact screen. When you add a filter, when you create a campaign, so let's say I want to add two filter tags is, and there's another filter I want to add, let's say created on today. So here there is an option and or, right? If you want to match both the conditions, then you should select and. If you want to match either of the condition, then you should select or. So I hope that answers your questions. Please let post your question again if this is not what you wanted to understand. What if our automated reply gets failed? Uh, so something like this should not happen. Um, so, but for every failed message, you uh, just go to the inbox and hover on the I uh, exclamation mark, and you can check the error code and you can just send us the screenshot and we will, you know, uh, fix it for you.
we have another interesting question how do i get to know which numbers have received my campaign content uh, like if some got failed how do i know which numbers were they so it's a very interesting question i'll just go to interact screen and go to the notifications tab i'll go to open time so over here let's say i click on this campaign uh you will see 121 were attempted out of which 119 sent out of which 118 were delivered out of which 92 people read the message 47 people replied and two failed okay now if you want to further check these numbers let's say you want to check how many were failed so just click on this arrow and see either you will see total errors and you will see the breakup of all the errors so unqualified it means these customers were not on whatsapp so what we will do we'll just click on this icon next to that text so it will open a new page and it will filter the list of users for whom that particular campaign failed or similarly if you just want to see how many people it was delivered to you can again quickly check the count or let's say you want to know how many people reply so you can also check that using this particular filter you want to further uh, uh, you know uh, filter which customer replied with a particular text and let's say you have added two buttons right we added two buttons get offer and uh, stop so here you can just say reply text is get coupon Uh, so this is how you can filter how many customers replied you get coupon how many customers replied stop How to remove the name and list of customers? Um, you don't need to remove, uh, you know, you don't need to delete any customers. If you can just tag them with some uh, tag like DND or something and just exclude them when you, whenever you want to launch a campaign. All right. So, I'll just quickly share my screen and show the demo how to remove particular customers. So let's say, for example, you want to, you do not want to include this customer when you want to send a campaign. So you can just tag them with something DND. And whenever you launch a campaign, click on new campaign start from scratch add filter tags is not dnd so it will exclude all those customers where the tag is dnd All right, so I guess we have uh, pretty much covered uh, the questions. Uh, there, are, if you know, uh, I haven't been able to answer your questions. Uh, please, uh, you know, because of the time constraint, uh, uh, you know, uh, apologies for the same. But I would request if you could, you know, share your queries with us by sending an email to support at the rate interact dot ai. Uh, our support team will help you. Uh, you know, uh, please reach out to us if you have any queries or any issues. If your questions were unanswered uh, please feel free to send an email uh, we will definitely help you uh, over an email uh, uh, lastly if you can see my on my screen uh, you know just follow us on social media uh, okay interact is our handle on all the platforms we post lots of useful content best practices and educational content right it will really help you in understanding the latest features and some best practices tips and tricks etc I hope uh, you know I was able to cover uh, uh, everything you wanted to know uh, with respect to templates and campaigns for festive season. Uh, I 
uh, I hope you all are geared up for festive season and uh, have already started planning your marketing campaigns through WhatsApp. WhatsApp is a very powerful tool uh, and you will definitely get good results if you launch your campaigns, uh, you know, uh, properly. And, you know, uh, so uh, I hope, uh, I wish everyone a very, very happy Diwali in advance. Uh, so we'll see you soon. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining. Uh, we will see you at the next webinar. Um, thank you so much.